And U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Turkey as part of a diplomatic dash across the Middle East to try and find solutions to the Israel-Hamas conflict. Now, he's been meeting with his Turkish counterpart, Hakan Fidan, in Ankara. The visit comes amid heated relations between Israel and Turkey, with Ankara urging Israel to stop its attacks on Gaza. And earlier, Blinken made an unexpected stop in Iraq. He's warned against other parties becoming embroiled in the conflict. It was very important to send a very clear message to anyone who might seek to take advantage of the conflict in Gaza to threaten our personnel uh, here or anywhere else in the region. Don't do it. Uh, I made very clear that the attacks, the threats coming from militia that are aligned with Iran are totally unacceptable and we will take every necessary step to protect our people. We're not looking for conflict with Iran, we've made that very clear, but we'll do what's necessary uh, to, uh, to protect our, our, our personnel, uh, be they military or civilian. So let's take a closer look at Blinken's trip to Turkey and speak to our correspondent Dorian Jones joining us from Istanbul. Uh, Dorian, what do you think we can expect from Blinken during his meeting in the Turkish capital? Well, I think Blinken will be under a lot of pressure from his Turkish counterpart, Hakan Fidan, to press for the urgency of a ceasefire in the ongoing uh, assault on Gaza. Turkey's been very much in the forefront of demanding a ceasefire. But given the fact that, uh, that in, despite these growing international calls, Israel is stepping up its assault on the Gaza Strip, the, I think Blinken's message will be that we have to contain this conflict. That's been the message throughout his tour of the Middle East, the importance of especially keeping Iran out of any further escalation escalation in the conflict. Now, Turkey does have good relations with the Iranian regime. Iran's foreign minister was here last week, and the Iranian president is expected to pay a visit sometime this month. So I think Blinken will be pressing on the importance of containing the conflict, something he will say that this is in Turkey's interest as well, given the fact his economy is would be expected to be devastated by any major regional confl conflagration. So I think that is the main focus of talks, will be to just to maintain some kind of uh, containment of the conflict. And Dorian, what about relations between Turkey and Israel? I mean, they had been patching up relations uh, before Israel's war on Hamas. How are things looking now? Well, I mean, they're pretty rock bottom. And um, yes, you're right. There was this rapprochement effort uh, before the, the outbreak of this latest conflict in the Middle East. In fact, uh, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan met for the first time with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in September. And then everyone was saying that this was a, a positive sign that there could be a new chapter in relations. But all of that has collapsed now, especially following Erdogan's statement declaring Hamas is a liberation movement, despite most of Turkey's Western allies designated as a terrorist group that has saw the Israel pulling out its ambassador and Turkey has retaliated over the weekend withdrawing its ambassador. Although it has to be said Erdogan's much of his language against Israel is directed at the Israeli Prime Minister himself rather than Israel saying this is a man we can no longer work with. In fact he said he's written off in the minds of Turkey. But Erdogan stressed the importance of maintaining diplomatic relations. He said there isn't a severing of relations and the fact that we need to keep on talking. And I think that's a sign that Turkey eyes itself playing some kind of mediating role sometime in the future. Indeed, uh, how important of a role could Turkey play in securing, for example, the release of uh, hostages being held by Hamas? Well, according to Ankara, Turkey has been working very hard behind the scenes to secure the release of the hostages. And in fact, that's uh, the front person is Turkey's spy chief, Ibrahim Kalan. And according to Erdogan over the weekend, he said Kalan has been in talks with the Israeli count, his Israeli counterparts and also with the Hamas leadership. Now, Turkey does have good relations with Hamas over the past. Much of its political leadership was here at some point in Turkey. So Turkey says it can possibly play some uh, role in the release of the hostages, although it has to be said at the moment, it doesn't appear they've made really any progress. Dorian, thank you very much for that. It's DW's Dorian Jones reporting from Istanbul. And we can expand on this with Boris Forman, a political science professor at Bard College Berlin. Uh, good to see you there. Secretary Blinken has been wrapping up what has been a pretty grueling tour. It's taken him from Israel to Jordan uh, to Iraq, just to name a few. What do you think the main goal of this shuttle diplomacy was? 
Well, I mean, as you said, it was a grueling tour. He met a lot of uh, state leaders. Um, he, I think, has multiple goals uh, at once. One of them, obviously, was to de-escalate and try and contain uh, the, the conflict itself uh, for it not to spread uh, in the region. The other goal was uh, for there to be a pause of fighting in order for humanitarian aid uh, to be delivered. And uh, we hear also that some of the talks were about trying to think about a possible post-war regime with others state leaders. Uh, now, at least on one of these, um, the U.S. calls for a humanitarian pause in Israel's bombardment of Gaza. Um, that, that has not been heeded so far. Do you think Lincoln's trip can be considered a failure in that regard? Difficult to tell. I mean, if, uh, as we just uh, saw, I mean, there, there are multiple objectives. Some of them might have been more successful, some less. Some of them we don't even know because uh, a lot is going on behind the scenes. A lot of the discussions are not public. Um, well, the, the conflict at, at least hasn't spread beyond the borders of Israel uh, and, and, and uh, the Palestinian uh, regions yet. But, um, yeah, it's a very difficult situation. And uh, I guess we need more time to be able to to really assess if this uh, trip was a success or not. Yeah, looking it, at, it's a very uh, yeah, limited it, success, I would say. Okay, limited, limited success. Looking at America's uh, role in the region, I mean, how, how useful of a uh, power can they be in trying to achieve these goals? Do you think there's a certain message that the U.S. is trying to send uh, just by the fact that Blinken is there uh, on this shuttle diplomacy? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, an important point. If we zoom out from this conflict immediately, we are noticing that the liberal order that has been uh, stable at least for the, well, let's say last 20 years, but we could even say since the post-World War II order uh, started in 45 uh, and now is certainly crumbling and we see many different conflicts in many different places. And I think we have to situate this uh, conflict, which of course has important internal dynamics into this broader context. And so what we're seeing is an attempt by the U.S. also to signal that it's still an important or the important uh, hegemonic uh, state in the international system. But we are seeing that it's losing some of its uh, clout uh, also in the way that it can only partially influence the Israeli government. And we are seeing a rebalancing of uh, the international system. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. That's uh, Boris Foreman from Bard College, Berlin. We really appreciate it. Thank you.